once upon a time, no turn was left unstoned that didn't suit the public. But at this Carnarvonshire quarry, no stone is left unturned that might suit the public highway. Situated on Penmanoir Mountain, the top bank of the quarry is 1,500 feet up, and skilled workmen have been stopping trucks like this for a hundred years. Penmanoir means the head of the Great Rock, and no place could have been more suitably named. But the head doesn't put the wind up the workmen. And the language! Well, blasting is going on all the time, and even the management swear that their stone is the best in the world. The rock is drilled by compressed air to a depth of 23 feet, and then the fuse and charge are inserted. Everything's all right so long as you don't stay too long. If you do, you might be blown up by the foreman. From 10 to 18,000 tons of rock are brought down after each blast. This should make any bargee feel rather sick. Mechanical shovels then get to work and load the stones into the wagons, of which there are 500, and there are over 70 miles of light railway on the mountainside. Some of the larger blocks are broken with wedge and hammer. Then comes what is perhaps the most skilled job of the lot, the making of sets. With an iron sledge, the quarryman trims the stone to the required length, breadth and thickness, and he does all his measuring by eye. Stones everywhere, yet who was it said that it takes two to make a quarrel, a quarry? 